Good afternoon, guys. It's working. Bringing you a quick update on Bitcoin. Hope you guys are having a wonderful afternoon, uh, guys. I apologize. It only took me going out of town to uh, to get Bitcoin going parabolic and to just slice through what should have been resistance. Just sliced through this like butter, guys. So this is. I mean, this is extremely obviously goes without saying. Look at this chart. <laughs> this is extremely bullish. Um, you know, this. I, I do believe this confirms the bull run has started. Um, now, does that mean we're going to have a? Uh, you know, does that mean this thing's going to continue to go parabolic? You know. Yes, it could. Certainly it could. I mean, there's no, as I said before, guys, you know, the, the only consistent thing with cryptocurrency is it consistently surprises. So yes, you know, this thing could just, we, we, we could have everybody FOMOing in guys and, there, and take this thing to the moon. Who knows? I mean, if we look at this guys, we're sitting at daily volume. That's actually, let me refresh that because I think it's gone up. Uh, what are we looking at? Yeah, daily volume, we're looking at about 26.2 billion. Um, we just set a new daily volume high, I think two days ago on May the 11th at 28.8 billion. Um, so again, that is a an all-time high for daily um, uh, regarding daily volume. Um, and of course, the, the big news is for me, I've been out of town since Thursday, guys. So I haven't been able to take advantage of really any of this. I had a, a before I left, I had a trade in here excuse me, just above 6,000 in case we did do something like this. It was a very small trade, guys. By the way, if you have three commas, um, uh, if you don't have three commas, I should say, I highly recommend getting it. Uh, getting it. Um, it just basically allows you to, um, a, as soon as you're in profit, um, rather than having to sit in front of your computer and constantly adjust your stop loss, it adjusts your stop loss for you. So if price keeps going up, it will keep uh, increasing your stop loss here so you continue to stay in profit. And if price ends up crashing back down, you know, it, it triggers your stop loss at a a much higher point than it would have been had you not been sitting at your computer. So I highly recommend it for guys that are, especially people that are busy, you don't have a lot of time to sit at your computer, guys, for you traders out there, three commas is highly worth the investment, and it's really not that much money for the, um, uh, just use that portion of it. Now there's a whole other tier where you can use bots. I don't use those guys at all. Um, I just use the lowest tier guys, and in my opinion, it's a great investment, um, especially if you, like I said, you can't sit in front of your computer the whole time. All right, that not that was a non sequitur guy, guys, little rabbit troll there. But the, 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 the major sign, in my opinion, was that we just broke above this resistance area didn't even acknowledge it guys um, really we had a major resistance at 6,000 um, and that was a great psychological resistance guys but as I've told you guys many times there was really resistance between about 6,500 and 6,000 right really 6,600 and 6,000 um, and we just cut through that like butter um, I didn't expect that to happen at all guys I was very surprised that we did it like that but um, as I've always told you guys if you watch my videos for any extended period of time you know how important I believe longs the ratio between longs and shorts are um, we had shorts or we had long sitting down here doing almost nothing we had shorts that were just stacked very stubborn um, and if you look at the shorts here guys you can see let me bring up the daily chart because you can see a little bit better here you can see that shorts did not start massively liquidating here we had a little bit we had about a five percent correction here on May the 10th but not until May the 11th did shorts really start to uh, start to fall off the board here and what happened on May the 11th May the 11th was this candle right here where price just crushed right above the areas of major resistance. And of course, everybody that was expecting this to act as resistance and us to come back down, they, you know, they finally gave up their guys or got liquidated, whatever it happened to be. Um, and, um, you know, and as price pushed above here, that just liquidated those short positions. And as it liquidated shorts here, guys, what did it do to long positions? Long positions have been have been stacking here as well. So just like, you know, as I always say, guys, the, the exchanges, they make their money by liquidating longs and short positions. Whales do the same thing, guys. The market makers do the same thing. Um, Nearly one and the same, um, and so if, if you see if you see short stack the way they were and longs just you know stagnant or not or or, uh, or dropping, that's your sign that very likely price is going to get driven up to liquidate those shorts. The opposite is also true. If longs are stacking and shorts are falling off the board, especially if there's a decent if if the ratio between the two. Are, are is significant, which right now it's not. Right now we're almost, uh, you know, we're we're starting to reach the uh, the the point to where they're both um, they're both about even. But if this continues, if longs continue to go up and shorts continue to fall off the board here, guys, the same way it was a a indicator of price going up when shorts were stacked and longs were were dropping. This is also an indicator that we're going to get a larger correction if if and this is a big if. If shorts keep dropping and longs keep stacking, if that does happen, you know there's there, there's a I would say a better than 50/50 chance that we're going to come back down and correct here. Now, how far are we going to correct? That's really the major correction or the <laughs> the major correction. That's really the major question here, guys. Is how far is price going to correct? I'm going to be I think 
The most bullish scenario is if we can stay above 6,000. 6,000 was our major area of support. It did not act as a major area of resistance. Now, that really below there at 5,800 did. But 6,000 did not act as a major area of resistance, guys. It just sliced right through it. So if that can start acting as support, again, I think that's going to be a very, very bullish sign. We'll have to wait and see kind of how this plays out. And really, anywhere between 6,500 and 6,000, I'd like to see that start acting as support. And again, if that does, that's extremely bullish. But really, if even if we break 6,000, thousand guys if we come down to probability wise we the last major area of resistance or excuse me the last major area of support you know, prior to this going parabolic here, was down here around 5,000, 5,000 to 5,100, this little order structure right down here. So I wouldn't be surprised to see price correct all the way down here to that $5,000 range. Now, uh, does it mean it has to happen? No, absolutely not. Again, I think there's a good chance 6,000 is going to hold, maybe even 5,800 is going to hold as support. But there's also a, I, I, you know, I would say there's also a good shot that we're coming back down here again to 5,000. I'm going to start dollar cost averaging in probably between about 6,200, and I will all the way down down to I, I again this is this is again just looking at the chart here guys it's really going to all depend on the ratio between longs and shorts it's going to depend on volume it's going to depend on how price corrects you know whether it's straight down whether it's more uh, uh more sideways uh um you know like a if, if it starts looking like a uh a um bullish pennant or a, a bull flag is what I'm trying to say. If it starts looking like a bull flag, guys, that'll be a, a little bit different scenario. Uh, but we'll have to wait and see kind of how this plays out. I'm going to be definitely getting very interested in Bitcoin as it approaches what should have been a major area of resistance right here between about 64 all the way down to 6,000 and certainly down here at 5,000. I, I will definitely tell you if we ever get down here to 5,000 again, which I'm not even saying is a probability, but it is a possibility. And if we do, guys, I'll go in very heavy down here at 5,000 um, and not think twice about it. Um, but in the meantime, guys, I'm looking for at least a correction down to this top of this zone here, um, possibly looking at about 6750. Why do I say 6750? Well, um, the only really the only advice I got out over the weekend was I sent out a tweet on I think May the May the ninth or May the tenth that said if we needed to see a daily candle both opening and closing above 6,600. That was kind of the top of this um, this area of. Uh, of what should have been resistance here. Um, we had that happen right here on May the 12th. And not only did we have that happen, I haven't I haven't changed these lines here, guys. This top line at about 6760, um, 6750, 6760, that's been here, you know, for quite a few months now. That that hasn't changed. And um, that is just the the top of this area of you know what was acting as resistance here. Um, that was kind of the top of that zone. Um, I was expecting it to possibly act as resistance again. Um, but it didn't. We broke above it. And the reason I'm pointing this out is this was the first time that, as I said in my tweet, you know, a, a good, I said in the tweet that the risk to reward was not there to go long until we had a daily candle, both opening and closing above 6,600. We had that happen on May the 12th. And not only did we have a daily candle opening and closing above 6.6, .6, but it came back down and retested this prior, uh, our prior area of known resistance at about 6,650. And it became that known resistance became support right here on May the 12th. That was your sign to go in long. And if you did go in long, if you bought somewhere down here at around 67.50, um, even if you bought here at 7,000, you'd still be in pretty good profit here sitting at about 7,800 currently at the moment. So if you did buy guys, um, you know, congratulations. I would uh, I would start thinking about getting out because we are certainly extended here. Doesn't mean we can't continue to go up here, but I would definitely think about taking some of your profits off the board here, guys, because there's a very good chance that we are going to come back down and correct here if just, you know, just logic would tell us we are going to come back down here and correct here in the short term. And going from our daily to our four hour, we also have confirmation of a possible uh, Correction here again in the short term. This is only on the four hour, but you know, we've got price created a higher high. Clearly, the uh, uh, MAC, the four hour MACD, four hour RSI created a lower high. That's clear bearish divergence, guys. And again, suggesting a possible pullback. I'm going to be watching the top of this zone, what was uh, support right here at about 67.60. Um, I'm going to be watching for that to act as support again. If that does break down, guys, I think you know, there's a good chance we're coming back down to possibly 64, 63, 6200, somewhere in that area. Looking at our daily RSI, extremely overbought, guys. Again, looking, um, suggesting a possible pullback here. And if we come out and look at the weekly RSI, the weekly RSI is sitting, um, again, very um, very overbought. The last time we were this overbought, guys, was back in December of 2017 when we were at our all-time high of $20,000, guys. So, again, this is uh, extremely overbought. While it is very bullish, it is also, again, extremely, um, in the short term, 
screaming for a possible pullback. Now, again, does that mean we have to happen? Does that mean that has to happen? Absolutely not. Again, guys, we could see FOMO just take over and this thing could just continue to go parabolic. That is definitely a possibility, guys. I, I don't want to, uh, I don't want to say it's not, but just logic Logic tells us, guys, that we are going to see a temporary pullback here in the short term. And, of course, you want to make sure you're protecting your profits, guys. Always protect your profits. There's going to be more than enough opportunity to make money going forward here. Coming back out to the weekly, guys, we can see that the next area of, uh, I mean, there's really not a lot of resistance up above here. There's just not, guys. This thing definitely, you know, definitely has the potential to go just very parabolic here. But the next area of, of resistance, not major resistance, but just any kind of resistance would have been this swing high here at approximately 60, uh, or excuse me, 8,500. Um, this is the area, the next area of, of, you know, this really any kind of resistance that I can see um, above where price currently is. Um, and it's not, it's really not a lot, but you know, there it is nonetheless. Um, and if I look at this, this prior area, Right up here, guys, and you kind of, you know, Fibonacci is a very interesting thing, guys. You're constantly, you're trading against a lot of bots, guys, so you're constantly looking at fibs, trying to see where those bots are looking at areas of support and resistance, where they're uh, pulling their high from. And if we look at this area, this prior high here at about $10,000, and we go down to the swing low. Now, remember, we're on the weekly chart here, guys, so we're looking all the way back in, uh, all the way back to... Uh, to April of, uh, of 2018. Uh, we can see that we pushed above this golden pocket um, right here. We can see initially we had a perfect hit right inside the golden pocket. That was our first area of resistance as price just pushed up above a uh, major area of, um, of what was we thought was going to be a major area of resistance. The first area it actually found resistance was right inside this golden pocket here, guys. Again, from this swing high of about 8,500 to our uh, swing low down here of about 3,150. Um, and we've broken above that. Now, again, could we come screaming back down? Yeah. This is, again, looking at the weekly, and we've got a lot of days left in the weekly, so this could end up just being a wick. Nonetheless, we have broken above it, guys, but what I wanted to point out here, guys, we have some confluence between the 618 FIB level, the next major FIB level, which is the 618, and this prior high here at approximately 8,500. Um, so, you know, this, again, would suggest a decent area of resistance right there at approximately 8,500. Now, will that happen? We'll have to wait and see how it plays out, but it's certainly interesting and worth noting. Pulling back out, looking at the weekly guys, I mean, there's no question that we've confirmed a bull market here. We've taken out the prior high from our, our uh, breakdown here from 6,000. Um, there's no question we've taken it out. It's done. Um, it is behind us. Bull market is confirmed, in my opinion. Now, does that, it does, again, that does not mean we can't see a larger correction down here, a, a 35, 40%, even 45% correction here. We absolutely can, and the bull market could stay intact. Um, but I do believe this is now the beginnings of a bull market. I think the, the push through that area of resistance was confirmation of that. Again, the, the only reservation I have in saying that, the only, you know, is there no doubt in my mind? There's always a doubt in my mind. And the doubt in my mind in this case was this was all a short squeeze. This was all, you know, uh, this, this did not happen organically. This just happened, you know, trying to liquidate shorts. I want to see price continue to go up here, not based on longs and shorts, not based on trying to liquidate one or the other, but just purely based on a, an organic bull, healthy bull market. Um, and I do think the short squeeze can absolutely spawn that bull market. So again, I am bullish on this. Even if we have a correction, even if we have a 40% correction, I remain bullish. I think that the bull market has begun. Um, but I'm uh, that that you know that little bit of doubt in your mind is there because this all happened based on the stubborn shorts that we saw you know throughout this since 5,000 all the way up uh, to its current price point, guys. This was all just liquidating shorts and all a short squeeze and attempt to liquidate shorts and we finally started to do that. So, you know, how this is going to play out, we'll have to wait and see. But that's why I want to see a strong bounce off of either the um, uh, 6,000 or at least, at the very least, 5,000 down here, this prior order structure here. That, in my mind, will, you know, eliminate all doubts this, you know, that the bull market has begun. That being said, guys, I think, you know, just taking out this, uh, you know, the prior high here, just looking at the chart here, you don't have to be an analyst to see this is an extremely, extremely bullish looking chart. All right, zooming out on the weekly chart, guys, looking at our, uh, uh, moving averages, exponential moving average. We can see the Bollinger Bands here are well extended to the upside here on the weekly chart, guys. Um, again, suggesting a, uh, a pullback here. We do have some, uh, obviously, uh, just nothing but strength here on the chart. We've got the eight-day EMA crossing above the 55-day EMA here. Again, nothing but strength. We've got the 50-day uh, moving average that it acted as support on the pullback here and then continue to go up here parabolic. A very, very bullish sign, guys. We have the... Um, uh, 21 day EMA, not far behind. If we can get confirmation of the 21 crossing above the 55 day EMA, again, all signs of strength, guys. There's no question about it. There's just nothing, nothing negative about this. This is all extremely bullish. Let's come out here and look at the weekly, or excuse me, look at the monthly.
We can see the monthly charts now crossed above the uh, 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 20 week simple moving average here guys um, again a very very bullish sign this little red line here that's in the middle of the Bollinger Bands here that's the uh, 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 20 simple moving average here on the here on the uh, on the monthly chart here that's uh, that's obviously the uh, um, 20 simple monthly moving average here guys so we are above that again a very very bullish sign here guys um, we could see that the 21 month moving average or 21 month EMA was acting as resistance it became support and bounced right above it here guys so again there's just there's there's nothing bearish about this this is just all bullish so how am I playing this, guys? I'm going to be looking to buy Bitcoin again if we come back down and retest this prior where we hit right here at about 67.50. I'm going to be watching for a bounce off that zone again. I'll certainly enter probably a scalp at that point, guys. We'll have to wait and see. And again, when I say all this, guys, this is based on how the chart is currently looking. This is very fluid. So, you know, if volume ends up dropping here, guys, um, if, uh, you know, if the ratio between longs and shorts isn't favoring it, you know, these are all things, depending on how we drop here, these are all things that I'll take into consideration, guys. So please don't ever blindly follow me. But just I just want to give you a Kind of an idea of the levels that I'm watching. I'm certainly watching 6750. That was now an area of prior support. Um, we'll have to see if that support holds. That does break. I think we could be coming down into this area right here that I'll be looking to act as support. That's going to be between about 6500 and 6300. If that breaks down, I think we're coming down to approximately 6000 ish, somewhere thereabouts. 6000 is where I'll start to go in. Rather, I'll be playing. I'll, I'll play some scalps here and there. I'll start to go in. Um, as more of a swing trade um, and possibly adding to my long position down here at 6,000 and certainly down here at 5,000. Um, I'm not going to have much of a stop loss between 6,000 and 5,000. That's going to be more of a dollar cost average in, in my opinion, guys, because I think we could bounce at any point in time between 6,000 and 5,000, guys. So, you know, that that's just going to be a matter. And that's going to that's going to really depend on, again, the ratio between long and short, the volume um, and how this thing is moving down. But uh, but that those are the major areas that I'm watching, guys, 6,000. 5,000, of course, guys, and then, of course, those small little areas between that 6,750 and between uh, this area right here between 6,500 and 6,300, guys. Those are the areas that I'm looking for, a decent bounce, and you can more than likely, even if those areas do break, I think that very probability-wise, you're going to get a bounce off each one of those, and so that does present an opportunity for a, a scalp all the way down. To the upside, guys, again, as I pointed out, I think the top of this zone here at about uh, um, 84, 8,500, guys, that's going to be your area of resistance to the upside, guys. That's really the next area of resistance that I can see. Is it major? Not really but we do have that overlapping fib with the seven uh, seven eight six as well as that prior high right here at a couple little wicks here so i would that i would expect that to act as a possible resistance guys but again if this thing goes parabolic and if we're just uh continues i should say continues to go parabolic and we're just fomoing in guys you know and, and volume continues to stack there guys you know again you know who this thing could get this thing could just the lid could get blown off of all of this that's a that's a real possibility again the only thing that's uh that's uh um consistent about uh, cryptocurrency guys and the only thing really consistent about it here guys overall is the fact that it continues to surprise over and over and over again all right i'm gonna go ahead and wrap things there guys if you have any comments questions suggestions please let me know in the comment section below as always would appreciate an upvote if you have enjoyed this content till next time guys please trade safe take care of yourselves this is working signing out